Hello! I just wanted to make a quick little video here to show you my recording space. I know sometimes it comes up in our group. Uh, people ask questions about setting up a treated space, um, soundproofing and that sort of thing. Um, I started out with uh, working out of a closet like many of you probably are. Um, or a similar space, but I, I used a closet. And probably about a month ago, I decided uh, to start building a, a booth. And it's in an area that I call my office. So I'll just kind of show you here. Not all that big. And, you know, here's a desk where I had my computer set up. It's over there. It's on the radiator. That's the laptop computer. The radiator's not on, and uh, so I can put it there. But when, you know, when winter comes, right now it's it's almost summer. But when winter comes, I'll have to have a table set up and and uh, have the the computer out here. Um, let's take a look inside the booth. I'll give you a little peek. It's not that big. It's about four feet by four feet, and uh, I'm going to close the door here. Nothing fancy. I'm not a carpenter, <laughs> you know. And but uh, here's the space, and I'm going to turn a light on here so you can see it. And uh, if anybody has any questions about how I put this space together, you know, um, just ask. I'd be happy to to share with you. I'm just going to give you a 360 here. <laughs> um. Uh, basically, what I did is constructed this booth out of uh, gymnasium panels or gymnasium padding that consisted of two inch foam with plywood backing. The, the plywood is 11 30 seconds thick. Um, it had vinyl on it when I bought it. And uh, as you know, vinyl is not a, uh, it's a reflective surface, so that's not going to work for you. You'll have to, if you get something like this, you'll have to remove the vinyl. But I guess you could easily make something like this. Um, I didn't you need a lot of tools. You know, if you get yourself the plywood and get some foam, again, it's two inches thick. You probably can find that somewhere. Um, and I used fabric to cover the, uh, to cover it up. So it kind of looks nice, I think. And the ceiling is, uh, you know, there's a couple of, plywood panels. I covered it with moving blankets, each of them. And there are two panels here. I can move one out of the way when I want ventilation here, like so. You can let that, let it air out, because as you know, it does get warm inside of a booth like this. I'll put it back. There's a door on it, as, as you see, or I don't know if I didn't show you the door. See, door opens like that, it's hinged. Just another one of the panels. Closes like that. I don't have a, an inside handle for it yet, but the outside I covered with, uh, with moving blankets. Um, I, I join the, the uh, panels together with mending brackets, if you're wondering how I joined it all together. So, this, this booth is not built into the house. It's a, uh, it's kind of a standalone unit. You know, I've, I've used brackets to join the pieces together, but it's not bolted into the wall or anything like that. So if that's a concern you have, you definitely can do something like this. You don't have to, uh, you know, you might rent, or even if you own the home, you may not to want to do anything permanent. You may want to be able to move the booth, and I can do that. Um, you know, I found a desk here, used, you can't see it, it's too dark, that's okay. It's a desk and it's got a few drawers. I've got a chair here that's comfortable. I didn't want something with wheels, I figured it would be quieter, and this is quiet. Um, I recently just, I purchased this just yesterday actually. It's a uh, wireless um, mouse and keyboard combo. You know, I got it at Best Buy. I estimate that I, I probably spent about... Um, 300, 300, a little over $300 for all the materials for this booth, including the desk and, and all that stuff, and also the boom arm I had to purchase that's here, and this light. Um, I know it looks funny with this light clamped onto the uh, interface, but 
what I'm going to do is build a little um, shelf, and then I can clamp it onto the shelf and put the interface in, in between there. So if that gives you an idea. So uh, yeah, that's really it. You know, so I, I've I've got this set up pretty well. I'm I'm happy with it. Again, it's not a huge space, but there's definitely enough space. Um, I could stand in here if I have to, and this is what I, w I did want to be able to stand. I didn't want to have to be able to um, crouch down or kneel down when I, uh, when I came in here. I wanted to be able to stand because for some reads, you're going to want to be able to stand, right? You don't want to sit for everything. At least that's how I feel. I think um, for voiceover, when you're voice acting, to be expressive in some instances, it's better to stand, and sometimes it's better to sit. So it's good to be able to do both. All right, so... Yeah, that's, this is the booth. Um, I do have more work to do. Um, I'm going to have to um, create or make a couple of panels for the windows that are out there to attenuate some of the sound that comes from the traffic that goes by. Um, but it's not bad. The sound is not bad in here. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Um, and it just works. It works for the space that I have. Um, and so if you have any questions about what I did, um, that might help you to build something or to utilize the space that you have, uh, please post your comments. And, um, and I think that's all I really have to say. You know, I, I, here's my setup here. It's just, it's a, it's a Presonus uh, USB audio box interface. I've got a uh, Rode NT1A microphone. These are just nothing special uh, Sony uh, headphones. And there's the monitor. Uh, that this makes life so much better having I'm not sure what the size of this monitor is but it's 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 uh, significantly larger than the laptop computer that I was using so yeah I'm I'm pretty pleased with uh, what I have you can always add on <laughs> I don't have monitors right now I know that you know you're not supposed to use headphones to, to monitor with but that's what I have to work with right now and so you know you're always you always can invest in more equipment as time goes on and I'm going to be making this I'm sure into more of a, uh, a proper uh, editing studio I'll need to put some sort of panels acoustic panels in here the the window again this is the the one I'm going to make a, a uh, panel to uh, take care of some of the noise um, but yeah that's that's what I have uh, to show you today and Hope you enjoyed the little peek of my recording booth. And again, if you have any questions at all, please post them below. Thanks. Have a great day.